Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on Midnight Modeling today. I am continuing work on my Opry Albatross model that I've, I've been working on for the last few weeks really. Um, I'm currently at the stage where I need to start planking uh, the whole frame. Um, so I just thought I'd do a uh, video just to sort of show you how I bend the plank basically and add to sort of the wealth of plank bending knowledge that's already on there and just sort of clutter and confuse the field even more. But anyway, this is my take on it um, and that. So um, I hope you sort of appreciate, uh, are able to appreciate sort of um, how I go about it and maybe learn something or provide some suggestions or tips yourself how I can go on uh, go about it going forward. But anyway, first thing first, if you are able to like and subscribe the video, um, I'm, I've am i reached a massive milestone of 19 subscribers now, yay! Thank you, but anyway, thank you for everyone uh, who, who supports me. I didn't think I'd get as many as that, uh, um, so I appreciate all the support um, and comments um, that I get um, on the video. But yeah, if you can please just take a moment to like and subscribe, because uh, it does make absolute massive difference uh, to know that people are actually watching this um, and that, and maybe even enjoying it slightly. Um, and that. But yes, anyway, I digress uh, and we, we should move on to that. So um, the tools that I am using today are these um, and that. Um, and I'm doing it on uh, sort of an old table uh, that we've got uh, while the children are currently upstairs uh, playing on their PlayStation and Xbox. So I've got a quiet hour to myself um, and that's But I am using, um, I call it a planking iron, uh, but um, it's actually called um, a plank bender. That's the, the yellow thing um, in the photo. Um, pen, pliers, um, a sharp knives and a saw. Um, and I've got in the top uh, left hand corner in the egg corp, I've got some beans as well. Um, if you did want to buy, if uh, uh, spruce up your, your, your equipment or your sets and that, and if you do have something, uh, if, if, if you want someone to help uh, keep things tidy, um, and that, um, I highly recommend uh, the egg corp. So I only bought them for a couple of pounds off Amazon, and it is uh, absolute, it's absolutely amazing. It helps me just keep things tidy. Um, I guess uh, when I don't have that great deal of uh, space uh, to get things done. Anyway, and also if you see in the top right, uh, the most important of these saws is my. So um, before I started this, um, I boiled the kettle and um, obviously to make some tea, but also um, to uh, soak my planks in. So. Um, I find boiling hot water does a better, a better job than leaving them to soak uh, for in, in cold water. I'm sure there's some reason why it softens the fibres or something like that. Um, I don't really know, I just know that it work, It just works a bit better. And the wood just seems a bit softer and a bit malleable, um, I guess, and easy, uh, easier to work with. Um, and that. Um, I don't have a Tupperware uh, long enough to um, saw the planks in, because obviously the planks are quite long. So I... Um, put a plug in the sink really and just sort of make sure I've done all of the pots and loaded the dishwasher and use the sink really to soak everything. Uh, and uh, so I put several planks in there um, and just give them all a good soak in the hot water. Um, and, and then uh, um, I, I flip around and then, um, yeah, so planks been in there an hour. Um, I, um, I, I line it up, I try and get to the, the middle of the plank into the middle of the whole structure um, and then I make a mark um using um a pen now there's going to be uh finishing planks going on the top of this whole time i'm not overly that bothered about uh, staining it uh with ink um, and that um pencil doesn't really want right to wear long wet wood um, and that so i've just got a bit of a pen where i can just do a mark really and line up where, where each of like the frames in the hall uh um, go i do a big splodge for the middle one um uh, and that um and then, yeah, I, I line, I line each, uh, each one up. So I, I start with the middle um, in both both senses, really. So the plank will go in sort of the, the middle halfway down uh, of the hole um, and that. And then I'll line the plank up in the middle. Um, I'll line the plank up in the middle of uh, um, the hole um, and then sort of work outwards, like work from the middle and working outwards. And I'll do dots to where each one of the segments Go. Um, as 
the ones in the, in the middle don't really need blank uh, 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 bending. Um, I can sort of uh, lightly bend, uh, lightly lightly bend them, or put a stick a pin in, or or whatever. They don't really need too much work. It's when it gets more towards uh, uh, the stern and the bow of the ship, um, where where the work uh, sort of needs done. Now, um, I you can be a bit 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 clumsy. Um, I guess you've got wiggle room. Uh, when, when you're doing the planking, um. Now, so that I guess that doesn't mean go completely over the top um, of it all, um, but so, yeah, sorry, uh, yeah, that doesn't mean go over, over the top of it all. But you you are able to sort of to sand and use uh, putty or plaster or whatever it is that you choose to do at this sort of to correct some mistakes because ultimately it's going to be covered by the sort of finishing planks that you put up, put on on the next stage um, anyway. So at the moment, um, I've just got a pin. Um, I'm just sort of like popping it, um, popping it into place. Um, it's previously I used um, PV, uh, PVA glue, wood glue um, on that on, on my previous boats and that, but it just takes a long time to dry um, and that. So um, this when I was doing this albatross boat, I have uh, started using. Um, well, it's the uh, the position glue. Uh, when uh, going back to the tools earlier, uh, you'll see it on the screen uh, shortly. And is it like magic? <laughs> um, yeah, the um, the position max uh, glue um, and that. So I pop. I don't need to use that many pins now because it sets that fast. Uh, now it does come with the hazard of it, it sets your fingers to the boat as well. So you'll notice at times when you're pulling my thumb away uh, from the boat that's where the glue sort of set it um, and that. Um, one thing to be mindful of, and it's something that I keep forgetting as well, is when I push the pin in to hold uh, the plank to the hull, I, I I push the pin in too far, and then once the glue's set, and I'm having to sort of chisel into the boat really to try and get the boat uh, to try and get the pin out. Now it's not the end of the world, like I said, because you have uh, you can kind of repair the damage that you do, but um, yeah. It, it's it's just not fun to do, and it 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 just doesn't look nice, sort of at the um at the end of it, um you know, um but yeah um I popped a uh, popped a bit of glue on uh, uh on the middle again always start uh, start with the middle and sort of work your way out it you, you kind of create as you start from the middle you kind of create that curve um uh, in the plank uh, plank sort of naturally as you work work along it as well and it just makes those tighter bends uh towards the bow and the stern uh um. On the boat, just a bit easier, uh, kind of to work with. Yeah. So, um, returning to uh, uh, to the plank bend uh, um, uh, early on, um, and that, um, you notice at the top middle, I've got um, got a bit of wood. Um, it's got a bit of uh, arcs in it and curvature in it, uh, and that again, they're in incredibly useful. Um, to have them. It, it come with the plank bender um, and that so you can just roll uh, roll the, uh, the iron over, over the top of the wood and you gently get uh, um, you, start, you just start to get that curve um, and that and the wood kind of sets uh, sets in place for you uh, to do it and then it doesn't ha it doesn't have to be perfect because there is still uh, that little bit of flexibility in, in the wood um, and that to do it but if you've got most of the bend there within the wood it massively massively helps um, and that may prevent you from snapping it um, and that um, so previously um, when I used uh, when I was doing my bounty launch uh, boat first boat um, that I did um, I didn't use any of this I, I I, I really struggled with the bending. I didn't really do a lot of research and I was quite naive going into it thinking that I could kind of do it all and it was it's just making more of a you should do all that kind of thing. Um it turned out it wasn't and there's actually loads for me to learn. So then when I did my uh next uh model, the uh Palm or Palmeras, Palmeras, I quite like fishing boats, um and that so um I did a lot more research on it and the and the quality of the boat was massively, massively improved. Um in that. So um yeah so rather than just dry bending the plank and using PVA glue and um an absolute ton of pins um soaking the wood using a plank bender and um some uh some super glue uh, massively uh massively made a difference. Mm.
So while my glue's um, set in, um, I have recently bought myself a hairspray, um, and that's uh, gone for a bit of a plover, unfortunately, with it. So I um, I try and buy things on the cheap, um, and I, I I buy I buy second hand where I can. Um, I I'm not that bothered or precious about having the newest of the new things, um, and I'd rather help someone out locally. Uh, rather than giving um, Amazon, Hobbycraft, or wh whoever that um, kind of my money when I can sort of uh, the ten pound means uh, more to someone who lives around the corner to me than it does to uh, um, Mr. Amazon um, and that. But anyway, um, I bought an air spray. Bought an air spray um, off Facebook Market page uh, for uh, seventy pounds. Quite looking forward to uh, getting it and all that jazz. Well, it turns out it was a scam. So my um my good morals of trying to give uh, money to local people um and that um turns out it wasn't yeah turns out a bit a bit naive so in the end I did have to go from I, I bought it off hobbies um in the end um I'll, so I'll do a video of, of me opening the box um and that so I'm going to be learning how to uh, use um, an airbrush sort of when you're painting so I quite like how it works on plastic models uh, I mean I, I did some when I was younger um. And that, but I've uh, over the past few years, I've kind of stayed clear of them and and sort of focused on these wooden ships, um, and now. But it would sort of be nice to sort of to revisit what I did sort of when I was younger and sort of what sort of got uh, got me interested in modelling uh, in the first place. Um, and that's it. Yeah, just just be careful for buying on Facebook, really, because there's lots of mean people on there. So yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. So yeah, so using uh, as I use the middle, um, a line deafening up sort of uh, to use the middle of, of the tank. Um, I've got a little bit of left, uh, um, of the tank left over at the end of the ship, um, and that. So this is where the trusty saw that you came in, uh, uh, in uh, which is actually quite a useful buy. They are quite flexible. Um, they're, uh, they're quite sharp, and they make quick work of um, cutting through, uh, cutting through the tanks. So really. Um, because they are quite flexible, you can get a little bit of a curve in it, um, and that. Uh, but as long as everything's kind of like lined up, it's not necessary. But um, yeah, it's. Um, I bought this um, again. Me preaching my morals, um, uh, and, and that. But I actually bought this from Hobbycraft. It was only just over a fiver, I think it was, and you get a variety of different blades um, in it. And if you see that halfway down in the middle of the saw, uh, there's a bit of a screw, um, and that's so you can just screw it out and sort of change the. Um, uh, change the blades and that. Um, having a sharp knife is quite useful as well uh, just because I didn't want to saw into the boat and damage it so uh, a sharp knife you can kind of chip away and scrape um, and access and, and that and you know you're going to come back and sort of sand it a bit um, a bit later uh, on um, anyway so again it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, spot on uh, at this stage it just has to be a very good there or thereabouts um, really so you're not uh, um, so when the finishing planks are on, um, it is things are kind of hidden. Um, and then, um, again, this is where the um, the super glue massively comes in handy. Um, and I, whereas previously, I again I used absolutely loads of pins on the old uh, on the brakes that I did, uh, and and that just sort of to get the waiting for the PVA glue, the wood glue to dry, uh, and it took uh, a good couple of hours. So I'd have to use a lot of pins sort of to hold it in place. Whereas this sort of, this takes seconds. Uh, literally seconds uh, to do. But, uh, but, uh, so, um, You can see uh, this is a nice, a good, sh a good shot, really. Um, sort of like the curve and the plank that that I, that, that I created, and, and I wouldn't have been able to do this uh, just going dry or even just opening it. And uh, you can get sort of manual plank benders. Um, I've had a go at them, and I didn't really like them. Uh, this uh, plank bender um, is by far the best way I find uh, to do it. Uh, to, bend, to bend the planks and, and that so uh, yeah you can sort of have it see the curvature uh, sort of in the plank now as well I've not struggled um, is an important um, thing to mention 
Um, I've really not struggled in doing it. I've not had to force the wood to do anything it wasn't willing to do. Um, there's been no sort of splintering or cracks within this plank uh, at all, uh, really. Um, and I, so um, I think this is a good method, personally, uh, to go about uh, um, planking the, um, the whole uh, the whole structure um, of, of, of the boat. And it's easy kind of like just to top up. I guess at this stage you still put a, a, a splat of glue in, in that as well. It's, it's enough to sort of kind of to put the glue in at, at the side that it's strong enough to hold it. Um, it yeah, it's, it's strong enough to hold uh, uh, the, the plank in place so you don't have to like lift the plank off and get the glue in on, underneath it, if that kind of makes sense. It'll sort of create a bit of a gap between the hole and the plank. Just popping it, having the plank in place and held together in the pins and just doing a pop of glue, a splat of glue. Uh, um, plank is... It gets kind of damp at this stage, and the super glue is still holding. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's still holding uh, the wood, uh, the wood in place, um, and that's so uh, it's. Yeah, uh, I'm, I was quite satisfied, kind of how how it all how it's all come out. So, um, just kind of finishing off here, um, and then just popping the glue. So with a bit of clever video editing, um, this is kind of the stage where um, I did actually um, stick my thumb to the boat, basically. Um, I had to, had to pull it off, um, but... So um, I, previous to when I did my videos, um, I used my uh, Nixon camera uh, and, that, and I, I, was, I always felt that I was too close uh, to the map. Uh, and that, but that was actually the furthest I could zoom away, other than having the camera sort of dangling from the ceiling, uh, which obviously for obvious reasons isn't pretty feasible. Um, and that, but anyway, um, I've got a GoPro camera. Um, I quite like going for walks. Um, and that when we attached the GoPro camera to the dog, so it's quite interesting to see him uh, tuzzling around um, in the field. Um, and that, but um, but anyway, we had a go GoPro camera of um, just sort of, it seems more zoomed out. Um, and that, so that's kind of um, I'm. I, I'm, I'm happy with how this video looks. Um, and that's so uh, actually my, my camera uh, quality is getting um, a bit better now. Anyway, it's coming to the end. Again, thank you very much for uh, sticking through this video um, and watching it. I hope it helps you with how you bend your uh, planks. Please, please, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm massively grateful for all of the support. And until next time, thank you guys. Bye now. Bye.